The ERC was um, very easy to deal with. They answer your questions. They help solve problems for you. They help clear up a lot of my issues. It was a really difficult time for me. It was very stressful for me. And um, I'm really grateful to them for helping me. I really am. I'm very proud that there are people like them out there. People who need it the most can't get it. Uh, and they're powerless. They, they have, nobody speaks up for them. Um, and I think one of our roles is to give support to the powerless and help them to gain some power. The Equal Rights Center is pivotal in making sure that our, particularly our new communities, understand what their rights are, their responsibilities, and their role in the larger society. The Equal Rights Center has really changed dramatically over time. It really put us on this path of creating a larger entity that would not only look at fair housing issues and employment issues, but would look at public accommodations and then eventually disability rights. One of the things where ERC really adds value is in being forward-looking. On some of the cutting-edge issues, such as issues facing the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender communities uh, in housing, uh, others looking at issues of source, source of income, also national origin discrimination, the issues facing newcomers in our society. Through our membership, we hear about and learn about issues and types of discrimination when they first start to impact people in a very real sense. I like the ERC because you have dedicated professional staff here that are very knowledgeable and continue in their trainings and education and they keep up with the most recent laws. The truth of it is we are talking about discrimination against your neighbor, your family, you, because you happen to be a certain color or come from a certain country. I still had to have a home for myself and my children. And then I found that it was more difficult. I said, okay, now there's something wrong. And then I began to look for help. By educating more and more people about what their rights are, there are more and more people willing to advocate for themselves and take a stand. And that's where the Equal Rights Center can be a help. When I became disabled, my life was one of retreat. I lived my whole life as an able-bodied person. I knew nothing of the Americans with Disabilities Act, let alone fair housing. These rules mean nothing unless they're enforced. Knowing my rights was a good step, but how could I make people hire me? How could I make people lower the counters in the stores? I couldn't take my daughter shopping for school shoes let alone get in her school. I came back to the Equal Rights Center and asked for help. And that is where I really started to reclaim my life again. We see ERC as a valuable partner, a trusted institution, and as one where their success uh, will mean the success of many American communities and families across the country. I found warriors for me and people like me. There are warriors out there like the ERC and they help you and they teach you your rights. I owe a great deal to the Equal Rights Center. Uh, was the difference between me giving up in life and me claiming my role as a wife and a mother and as a professional. Today it might be a disability rights issue, tomorrow it might be a housing issue, but when you are able to have this demonstrated track record of going in and leaving things better than you found them, then that's a model that can be spun off in other communities, it's a model that can be supported by additional people. People can advance the cause of civil rights 
can promote equal opportunity by working with the Equal Rights Center in a variety of ways. And your support allows the Equal Rights Center to address those real needs of real people.